As part of the Microsoft Office 365 suite, Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central benefits from a range of powerful features. One standout tool is added in Excel. It allows users to export data from Business Central to Excel for mass updates or detailed analysis. With list pages that display a list of records in rows and columns, like customers, sales orders, or invoices, you can export a list of Microsoft Excel. Depending on the page, you have two options available from the share icon, open in Excel or edit in Excel. With the open in Excel action, you can make changes to records in Excel, but you can only save the changes to the Excel file without affecting data in Business Central. The Edit in Excel action is available on most lists. With the Edit in Excel action, you can make changes to records in Excel and then publish the changes back to Business Central. The Edit in Excel action requires that the Business Central add-in is installed in Excel. In some cases, your administrator may have set up the add-in to install automatically for you. In this case, you just have to sign into Business Central in Excel add-in pane with your username and password. Otherwise, the new Office add-in pane opens to install Choose the Trust This add-in, which will install it directly from the Office Store. To switch the company you're working with in Excel, select the Option icon in the Excel add-in pane. Then select the company from the company field. If you need to update payment terms for several vendors, you can use the following steps. Open the vendors list, select Edit in Excel, open the downloaded Excel sheet vendor card, click on Enable editing within the Excel sheet, authenticate with your Office 365 login, and then the data will be retrieved with your vendor list populated. Here you can go ahead and find the field that you would like to update and make your changes. Example, we are changing all the vendor payment terms to 30 days. Once you are done making your changes, click on Publish. The system will retrieve the changes and write back to Business Central. You can then close the Excel workbook and confirm that the changes have been made within Business Central. The connector has the following options available. If you click on New, a new line will be added to the data range. Then you can add new data. Select Publish to save the updates to Business Central. You also can use the Excel add-in to delete rows. Rows can be deleted by using the Delete function within Excel and then selecting Publish. To get the latest data from Business Central, choose Refresh. Be aware that if you have added data to the spreadsheet but haven't published it yet, clicking on Refresh may cause you to lose the new data. Publish saves any changes you have made to the Excel document back to Business Central. If any changes can be saved, a warning or an error will appear. To get details about errors, click on the flag icon in the lower right corner. This will include the error message and the record affected. After you update the record or remove the error, you'll need to publish again. If everything goes smoothly, the red highlighted record will return to its original color and the record will be published. In some lists, the Edit in Excel feature will apply page filter. You can remove the filter to edit more records than just the one initially exported. Select Filter, Clear Filter and Done. Refresh to add the newly available data. When you select the design action, the data connector will open the design window. If you want to add or remove fields within that table, simply click on this icon to make edits. This is where you can see table details, including which fields are selected and visible on the table and which are available but not visible on the table. If you want to remove a field, you can click on it in the selected fields and then select remove. If you want to add a field, you can click on it in the available fields area and then select add. If you want to move a field location in the table, click on the field and use the up or down arrow options to move it where you want. Select update when you're done. Overall, the Edit in Excel feature is designed to streamline and enhance the efficiency of working with data in Business Central. It simplifies tasks such as data entry and bulk updates. This makes things 
more manageable and processing more effective for users.